Strap up a berry, strap up a berry, strap up a berry shortcake. Today we are making, you guessed it, strawberry shortcake. So let's jump right into it. First things first, strawberries. Look at those little sweeties. For this recipe, you're gonna use about two quarts of strawberries. We're just going to hull and quarter these guys. That's plenty. I'm gonna add a couple of these guys. And then just with the back of a fork, I'm gonna start to smush these guys. Good enough, everyone. Now we're just going to add them to the rest of our strawberries in here. We're gonna add some lemon zest. I prefer to keep my microplane up this way, so basically all of the zest collects on the microplane and then you can dump it all in at one time. Zest! The juice of one lemon. I lost a lemon seed in the strawberries. Oh boy, it's in there. It's, it's down in the, in the depths. Lemon, boom, boom. Kobe, all right, last step, most important step to the strawberries is to add some sugar. Now what the sugar is going to do is to start to draw all the juices out of the strawberries, so it's basically gonna make its own kind of strawberry syrup. All right, now that you've got this lovely strawberry sugar lemon mixture going, you're just gonna let this sit for about an hour, which is probably about the amount of time it will take for us to get all of the shortcakes made. Look at all these beautiful things! All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is combine all of our wet ingredients, some heavy cream, two eggs, and a little bit of almond extract. A shortcake is like, it's got the richness of a scone, which is why we're using the cream and the eggs. It's still pretty similar in texture to a biscuit. You're gonna cook them on a high temp, just like you would with a biscuit. It's like a biscuit and a scone had a baby. So now we're gonna deal with our dry ingredients, and this is gonna be really similar to just making a biscuit. Regular old AP flour, baking powder, salt, sugs. Give me some sugar, sugar. We're just gonna give this a whisk. And now we're gonna add some cold cubed butter. So this is made to combine flour with butter. It's called a pastry blender. I like to think of it as like the horseshoe of good luck for the kitchen. While I'm doing this, smart cookie, fact of the day. Apparently in Old English, short not only meant something short of stature, but short in terms of food also meant something that was kind of crumbly and crisp, which is exactly the texture of a shortcake and that's why is called a shortcake. We know shortcakes came from the UK because there is a mention of a shortcake in The Merry Wives of Windsor by none other than William Shakespeare. So what you're looking for texture-wise while you're blending this butter in with the flour mixture, you want your butter pieces to be pretty small, nothing bigger than the size of a pea, and then when you run your fingers through the flour, it should feel a little like damp sand. Now we're ready to combine our wet ingredients with our dry ingredients. So I'm gonna make a little well in the center here, and then I'm just gonna pour them right in. So now we just stir together, and I usually kind of start on the outside, and basically I'm trying to just kind of pour my flour into this wet ingredient mix. I have a riddle for you. I'm a bird, I'm a fruit, and I'm a person. What am I? If you figure it out, please tell me in the comments. This one really stumped my fiance yesterday, like he, he had to give up. While you're figuring out that riddle, now I've mixed all of our shortcake dough together and we're just gonna turn it out onto a surface. This is a little stickier than like a normal biscuit dough would be and that's from the eggs and the cream. I'm going to pat this out into kind of a thin layer and then fold it over each other. I'm just folding it in half, folding it in quarters and then I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna try to keep this in kind of an even rectangle. Let's do it again. Fold it. Ready? Fold it. There we go. When I first started making biscuits and shortcakes, I used to make the dough too thin. If you do that, you won't get as much of a rise on it. So you want these to have a little bit more, um, a little bit more body to them, you know what I'm saying? A good rule of thumb, see what I did there? Your thumb is generally about two inches long. So if you're looking for like a half inch, it's just like the tip of your thumb, basically. Everyone else made that dirty. I'm just talking about my thumb, okay? You've done all this work to make these beautiful layers in these shortcakes. You don't wanna ruin them by twisting your biscuit cutter. So when you go in to cut these, you just up and down. You can kind of see already, even in the unbaked biscuit dough, we've got some layers in there. So when these bake up, they're gonna get even more defined. 
You can re-roll your dough and cut out a few more of these guys. They won't be quite as pretty as your first batch, but that's okay. This guy, we're just gonna let this guy go. I think 12 is a good number. So we've got 12 beautiful shortcakes. Final step is just to add a little butter and some sanding sugar, because who doesn't like a little sparkle, you know what I'm saying? Please give me a sparkle, <laughs> like sound effect. Butter me up, huh? Sprinkle time. These are ready to go in. We've got a super hot oven and you want it really, really hot because that's gonna give you that crisp bottom and top, but it's gonna keep the inside really tender and crumbly and delicious. Let's bake. <laughs> that was real dramatic. Par for the course, you know what I'm saying? Great. You can't have strawberry shortcake without whipped cream. So we're gonna make some homemade whipped cream. Look, if you wanna get some stuff out of a jar, you do you, boo. So I've got some cold, heavy cream, a little bit of powdered sugar, just for quick dissolve, and just to mix it up a little bit, make it a little fancy, got some vanilla bean paste. Vanilla bean paste is just vanilla extract, but it's got still got the vanilla bean in there. Bye, thank you for playing. I never do that gracefully, and I am a baker. Okay. This isn't done yet, but the shortcakes are. So we're gonna go get those guys real quick. Look at those beauties. Gorgeous. Look at those fluffy layers. Fluffy layers, fluffosity. Let's finish our whipped cream, shall we? Nope, that's not the right button. Here we go. You gotta keep a close eye on whipped cream because if you step away from it, you could overbeat and then it's gonna basically curdle. But you're looking for stiff peaks, which I think we have achieved at this point. We're about to have a hot shortcake with this cool whipped cream and it's gonna be delicious. Mm -hmm. Remember those strawberries? Boom! So now you can see like this is made like a beautiful strawberry syrup. They're gonna be so yummy and sweet and tasty and strawberry and taste like spring and summer and it's gonna be delightful. To make a strawberry shortcake, it's so easy. You're just gonna break into one of those layers right there. Yes. So we're just gonna do a little bit of strawberries. Look at that syrup, oh yeah. How's that looking on camera, huh? Now we just need a big dollop of whipped cream. Let's do two, cause you know. And we're just gonna put our little, our little beautiful top back on. Look at that guy, he's beautiful. There it is, strawberry shortcake. Boop, 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 boop. Look how cute this guy is. Oh, he's so cute. It's like he's ready for a school picture. You know what I'm saying? Like you put on his best outfit today. If you liked today's show, and I hope that you did, please be sure to like, share, subscribe. If you're on YouTube, ring that little bell. Thank you so much. And we'll see you back on the next episode of Smart Cookie. Yeah, I'm ready to eat, let's do this. Mm, mm-hmm, mm. I don't mean to toot my own horn, but toot, toot. You know what I'm saying?